I'm here at the fifth anniversary for Beverly Hills Lifestyle Magazine. Celebrities from Dancing with the Stars and the Housewives cast are expected, and I cannot wait to speak to them. I call you the woman of all trades. Um, you have, uh, you're a contributing writer, and you're an actress, and you're a reality star, and now a recent dancer. I have to ask you, which out of all is your favorite thing to do? Well, I've had a lot of fun. I think Dancing with Stars was an incredible experience. Um, also, getting to be a producer on Vanderpump Rules, again, was opening another door, you know, doing something totally different. So it's all been really an unbelievable experience. And really, the mothership for me has been Housewives. It's just given me a platform. I did write for Beverly Hills Lifestyle since the beginning, so since its inception, which was five years ago. So, um, you know, it's just life throws you different challenges and it's really kind of, oh, what was that? It's kind of how you rise to them, you know? Is your dog for sale? Uh, yeah, if you've got a billion dollars, I might give him to you for like half an hour. And I just have to ask you about your beauty routine because your skin is flawless. What foundation and primer do you use? Uh, Joe Blasco, unbelievable makeup, yeah. And um, no primer. No, I'm good to go. I'm really quick. I mean, I literally just came back. I had 20 minutes to get ready. I'm a hot mess, but it's all smoke and mirrors. And I just have one more question. I heard a rumor about a Lance Bass show and you co-starring in it. Is that true? Oh, I love that rumor. I haven't heard that, but um, there was rumor that I was doing a sex tape as well. So I haven't heard that rumor, but Lance Bass is a very good friend of mine. So if he's going ahead without me, I, I haven't even heard. <laughs> and just one last thing. Can you just tell me what you're wearing again, please? Christina Mikowski, who's over here, who's tonight. She's done many kind of glorious spreads for uh, Beverly Hills Lifestyle. So yes, I'm supporting her brand and Beverly Hills Lifestyle. These are my Jimmy shoes. Doug calls them my Fembot shoes, but for the girls with kind of shorter legs, they work out well. My dress is by Ozaday, and she's a wonderful designer who actually will be here tonight. My earrings are also Ozaday, and my ring and bracelets are all, this is Cartier, but all the rest is my design, Lydia M. Jewelry. My bag is Prada. Great, well you look beautiful and I am jealous of your calves. So what do you do to work out? Actually, what's funny is I was at a weight training class and somebody, we were doing a calf workout and somebody said that your calves are all genetic. They're like, you can't work them out, you either have them or you don't. But I do do a lot of stairs and a lot of like calf lifts. I don't know. Well, thank you for that little secret. Now just tell me a little bit about the magazine and what you're celebrating tonight. Yeah. We're here for um, our magazine, Beverly Hills Lifestyle, and it's our five-year anniversary, so it's a big celebration that we've made it five years, and I'm really proud of our team, and we just, anyone that's been involved, all of the artists and makeup artists and photographers are all here to celebrate with us tonight, so it's a really fun evening. That's great, and I know your new season just started. Can you give us any little secrets? Yeah. I can give you all the secrets. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a really fun season, and I think that I try to bring a lot of kind of fun and carefree attitude. So I've been getting a lot of my fans are starting to kind of see that in me, which is really exciting because you can't really get to know me after five minutes of one episode. So it's been nice to see little parts of myself, and I think people are latching onto that. I am from Canada, and I take all the women to Canada, and Alexis has kind of been a little bit out of our circle. And and I bring her in and invite her to come on the trip. So it's a fun trip, but there's definitely a lot of drama. We talk about threesomes and we throw some um, snowballs at each other. So you get a wide range of spectrum. Your dress is absolutely beautiful. What are you wearing tonight? I'm actually just wearing BB and I have BCBG shoes on. Wow. And I have my Gretchen Christine collection clutch. That's great. So your new season just started. Can you give us any spoilers? Well, there's a lot of drama, like there always is, and uh, we all fight, and we all want to kill each other by the end of the season. No, I'm just kidding. You know what? Um, Alexis kind of gets folded back into the group a little, and uh, we all try to, you know, figure out where we stand with her, and uh, there's definitely some reconciliation between some of the women, and then they all fight with me, and it's the usual season. <laughs> Do you have one um, fashion mistake that you remember from the past? Probably uh, crazy icy blue eyeshadow with hot pink glittery lip gloss. <laughs>
Not good. Not a good look. <laughs> Can you tell me what dress you're wearing tonight? I'm wearing Monica Chung tonight and um, Peter Marco jewelry. So I'm very privileged to wear this. <laughs> you look great. And tell me about this season with Dancing with the Stars. This season was amazing. I had Sean Lowe, who should be coming tonight as well. Uh, we got to week eight, which was, you know, so incredible. He hadn't danced before, so he was, you know, just um, a guy from Texas coming in to try some dancing, and it was an amazing experience. He's a really, really cool guy. And are you coming back for next season? I hope so. I mean, we don't find out until the last second, so um, we sort of wait, and they keep us waiting until probably a week before we actually have to start training, so fingers crossed. And so what are you going to do for summer until you hear from them? Lots of corporate events, um, you know, I've got lots of signings and appearances, um, just working on some own personal stuff as well, but taking some rest, you know, I love to dance as well, but I've been taking some rest and sleeping and just, you know, recouping my body because three, nearly four months of Dancing with the Stars is a lot of work. It was an incredible season. Uh I had an amazing journey with Andy Dick. I think it was something unexpected, uh, to be honest, to last a week seven, to grow so close and to have a best friend in the process. But truly, so much talent between Kelly, our winners, and Daya, our, our runner-up, Jacoby with all the personality in the world. I think season 16 was one of our best. The show's over. What are your plans for the summer? I am going to Hawaii for my birthday, uh, which is, uh, my birthday is June 21st, so I'm going to head there with my boyfriend and a few friends, uh, I, keeping June relatively free, but come July it gets crazy again. I've got shows, I'm judging dance competitions and commercials and a whole lot of stuff going on, so busy girl. I am currently working on Venice, the series, which is in its fourth season. It's an online web series, uh, and uh, I'm really proud of the work uh, that we've all done on there, so that's what I'm doing. and. I actually just shot two episodes back on Days, which should air in September. Um, so you never know, Chloe might be back soon. So stay tuned. And I love your jumpsuit. Uh, Thank who, you. Who's the designer? Uh, this is Shay Todd. Yeah, I was kind of feeling the, the jumpsuit, kind of the summery feeling. I love the color. And speaking of summer, do you have any summer plans? Uh, yes, uh, so some of my summer plans include uh, going back to Sweden where my family lives um, to go visit my family, go visit my mom. So in July, going back to Sweden for a little while. Blockbuster movies that are coming out, are you looking forward to any of them? I am. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Man of Steel. Um, not because I hugely care about the Superman franchise, but because I think Henry Cavill is really hot. Uh, <laughs> no, it actually looks like a really great movie, and uh, yeah, all the summer blockbusters are always kind of fun, so I know I'll, I'll be seeing them with my friends. Okay, I just noticed your eyebrows. What do you do to have them so perfect? Uh, well, I, I go have them done at Anastasia, actually. Yeah, I go, I go to my girl Tracy over there, but yes, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm a little obsessed about uh, eyebrow grooming, so... Well, there. Somebody's singing in there. Oh. You make a chum suit look great. Where did you get it? I just got this um, from Marcus Allen's charity event, and it was this amazing designer there, and um, she's wonderful. She did this whole fashion show, and I stole it from her collection. <laughs> I bought it, but it, yeah. And I know you're an actress and a model, so what are you working on right now? Right now, um, I started producing, um, I'm doing this documentary um, about animal welfare all around the world. It's called Give Me Shelter. So um, I'm producing and starring it along with Tippi Hedren, uh, Alice Neeswood, uh, Ethan Morales, Michael Vartan, uh, some people that are really into animal welfare. And it, it focuses on the most important animal issues going on, so the ivory trade, uh, the tiger trade, uh, puppy mills, pretty much everything that's going on right now. Um, with endangered species. So we're just trying to bring it to light and, and make people aware that if we don't do something quickly, we might lose a lot of these species. So that's why I decided to do um, Give Me Shelter. Your skin is incredible. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your beauty routine? Yeah, actually, um, I, funny enough, I use Phoenix Cosmetics. They're amazing. Um, they don't test on animals. They're cruelty-free, um, anti-aging. Um, I love their products, and I've, I've been using them for a couple years. So, yeah, Phoenix Cosmetics is definitely... Uh, besides your charity this summer, do you have any other plans? Yeah, um, you know, I'm looking to possibly, uh, well, we're going to do the premiere for Give Me Shelter, so um, that's going to be in a couple months, I'm hoping, and then um, we're doing uh, a jewelry line um, to, to try to save the last of the 3,500 tigers left, so we're going to do these um, tiger pendants, which will be coming out soon, uh, t-shirt line, um, pet care line, we're kind of doing it all, and then um, and possibly working with Nat Geo on a TV show, so 
Are you a Housewives fan? You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm friends with a couple of Housewives. I, I am. I, it's a guilty pleasure. I do watch it. I watch um, Beverly Hills and the Miami one. So yeah. You need to watch the Atlanta next. I know. I know. <laughs> Joanna's wedding's coming up, so I'm going to be going there uh, on Thursday. So it'll be fun. Well, thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you.